So we're here at the Qualcomm booth with Viewdal, and we're about to see a really cool demo of facial recognition. And Jason here is going to tell me a little bit more about how you recognize faces and what you do with them. Yep, so I'll show you it working on an Android phone. It's not hooked up, it happens completely locally. Um, so I'll go ahead, if you want to get in closer, um, I'll launch the app. Um, and it's a blank database, so what I'm going to do is just show you face detection. So I'll go to detect, and then we look at Marisol, and you can see the white box, it moves around, it finds the face, and it follows the face. And then what I'm going to go do now is I'm going to train the phone to see Marisol. And so I'll go to train. I'll enter in her name. There, and then we'll hide the keyboard. And then I hit start. And then you can see the green box. So we're actually capturing frames of her face. And this is what teaches the phone to see her. Um, so another second or two here, and we'll have it done. So it's completed. And then I go to detect, and it builds the database on the fly. And you can see magic that has the green box and says Marisol. And so this is the core This is the core technology, and using the recognition technology allows us to build a lot of different use cases once you know who the person is. So we can associate that with a Facebook name, a Twitter handle, and you can begin to automatically share the content off of the phone into the social network, and it goes shared. So at the end of the day, you don't have to tag the content anymore. You can go around taking pictures of your friends, and it's automatically posted to their profiles. I'm sure people have asked you about the security implications of that. What would you respond Yep, so I, I think that the phone will only know the people that you train. So we're not building a master's person's database that's FBI, CIA, whatever. It's all personal to you. It recognizes the people that you train and that are your friends on Facebook. Unless you have an identical twin and then it confuses we the system completely. The we can actually tell the difference between identical twins. So the technology is accurate enough so that we're telling twins apart. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's, it's eerie that the face recognition actually works in some circumstances when you can't even tell the difference between somebody. That must be some powerful algorithm you have on there. Yeah, or if you have a forget yeah, for a forgetful parent who can't tell their kids apart, you just hold it up to them. And, <laughs> and uh, is that app available on on the Android market? The app is not available in the Android market yet. Um, we're kind of we're doing a technology debut uh, here at CES, but very very soon you'll see us launching uh, applications. You'll see some significant partner announcements. We look forward to seeing that. Have a good CES, and thanks for talking to us. Perfect. Thank you.